Good morning world, how you doing? Oh, it's Saturday morning, about 3.45 in the morning. Uh, got an ice cream dipping case here. Um, this video is property at OCRefrigeration.com and OC Refrigeration and HVAC. Um, anyhow, cannot be used uh, without express written permission from me, OCRefrigeration.com. Anyhow, uh, this is how do you tell if a ice cream dipping cabinet is low on Freon. Uh, real easy to tell. Look around the box. Uh, you can do a temp check if you want. On the walls, you got like oh minus six, oh minus minus thirteen here, um, minus fourteen never there. So uh, minus eighteen. So those are good temps over there minus 16 but then when you come over here you don't see any frost so you got four degrees so this is the evaporator this is the evaporator section a uh, dipping cabinet um, they get frost all the way around the whole whole cabinet so when there's no frost like there is here like it stops there so you get your liquid gets injected over here so this is the evaporator so you about half empty on gas because only half the evaporator is frozen. So we got bad, you know, not so good temps over here. So we got just like seven degrees over here and like five over here. So that's how you tell if your dipping cabinet is low on refrigerant. If it's, if it's frosty all the way around and then it's not frosty. Um, and what usually happen, how it happens is these cases are old. Um, when they defrost them, you just you turn them off to defrost them. So right now the units are running probably in a vacuum or uh, at you know they run at real low suctions you know in a vacuum or you know single digits or whatever. Anyways, um, so they run real so low suctions. But when you turn them off, the unit goes and balances off, and they're you know our old R twelves or. 39 or hot shot or whatever's in them um, your balance pressures come up and if there's any leak in the evaporator uh, that's what you know that's where the it leaks out so when they shut them off and then they go to turn them back on again uh, and they turn them back on and they don't get cold as cold as they were before so that's how you know that you, they pop the hole in the evaporator they're usually 30 or 40 or these are probably from the 80s, early 80s, that's say 81. So, anyways, uh, so just thought I'd let you know how you tell if you're low on refrigerant on an ice cream dipping cabinet. All right, so uh, take our world. world. Uh, have a good one. This video, property to OCRefrigeration.com. Thanks.